I wrote down some jokes from Jonathan Squirrel. I made a special note of it. Fire away. Why do bees hum? Obviously, dear listeners, because they can't remember the word. <laughs> um, why do mice usually avoid drinking too much blue juice? For the same reason as me, because the hangover gives them the blues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't quite get that. Uh, a rabbit couple is put on a luxury cruise. At the quay, they get stopped because there are too many of them. Why? Because with rabbits, two is a crowd. <laughs> I don't get that one but the audience loves it. You could be a really good co-host. I wrote down the answers. Now I have three complete multiple jokes. I think I know how I can replace the water nut. You're all right. I always say laughing customers are paying customers. So show me a show that makes the audience laugh. If it works, we'll swap your program for the water nut. OK. I've collected genuine mousewood jokes. Well then, good luck. And now, opening for the wonderful Church Mouse Junior, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry. Hey, Jerry! Are we getting the nut again? No, now it's time for a laugh. We've got our fingers crossed. All right, well, <clears throat> why do bees hum? No idea. Why do bees hum, Jerry? Because they can't remember the words. <laughs> Good one. Oh! Why do mice usually avoid drinking too much blue juice? Because the hangover gives them the blues. <laughs> Super! The kid's really good. You'll love this one. A rabbit couple is booked on luxury cruise. At the quay, they get stopped because there are too many of them. Why? Tell us! <laughs> Come on! Because with rabbits, two soon becomes a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> but you can't tell it to just anybody. Oh, no, no! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Jerry, get off the stage. My junior has absorbed this new knowledge like a water nut. He's just as thrilled as the audience. I've hardly ever seen him this fired up about something. And the water trick never got this kind of reaction. Since you've made a great comedian out of junior, brought me this much closer to my retirement, we'd be happy to give you the water nut. Right, Junior? Junior? Yes, here goes. Take the water nut. Terrific. Thanks a lot. You'll see. Soon my Junior will be a, a big star. And you can say, I knew him before he was famous. I'm truly, uh, honoured. Break a leg. I have to go. Break a leg? I I is that supposed to be fun? What strange children some parents have. Isn't that right, Junior? Exactly.
Let's see how much this fancy water nut can really hold. really suck up a lot of water. I bet that a fully grown water nut tree can suck a whole pond dry, but I can't wait here for years watching the tree grow. Maybe we can provide some help for the little water nut tree. Wow! That's the right attitude. <laughs> Dear listeners, Borrower has dug himself out once again in one piece and dry as a boat. We will now continue with our program. Swamp Radio 103.6 uh, 5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. As always, we'll start off with my favourite music. the rain yourself. Yeah, well, I... Uh-oh. What is it? Doggy heart is still racing like crazy. Fortunately, the fox wasn't hungry for either of us. That was no ordinary fox. Did you see how many tails it had? <sighs> I, I, I wasn't paying any attention to that. But what a scare. Oh, holy dragonfly. The fox jumped towards the swamp. I have to go after it. There it is again. It jumped further into the swamp. It almost looked like it was waiting for me. I'm going after it. Huh? Where did the fox go? into a portal. I can't let it get away again. Folks, you won't believe what I just saw.
So, you finally return to us, Kitsune. I hope you'll stay a little longer with us this time. Oh, the fox skipped off. Again. So, its name is Kitsuna. But who just talked to the fox? So where am I now? It is very quiet here. As if there are no people anywhere near. Only more of these fox statues. But I can hear a very soft ringing or chiming. Hmm, another one of those posters. But it looks a little different, and I can't read the writing, but I guess it says the Great Zara. I can see a little golden bell hanging there. I wonder if the fox from Mousewood lost it. Cool. That is some army of fox statues. Scary. Disturbs my slumber. Mm. I cannot see you, but I sense your presence. <laughs> your path has led you to this point, but no further. I am the keeper of this gate. I am the guardian of this place. A blind fox could smell you from miles away. And so can I. How did you arrive? This place that we foxes wrested away from the humans. Human. I, um. Since I did not allow you to enter through this gate, you must have gained access through the tree node. Yes, the portal. Kitsune. Her dealings with humans have rendered her almost as blind as I. Is that a reason to not let me through? This gate will remain closed to humans. Stop this cruel din. What my blind eyes cannot show me, my ears will tell me twice, and my nose ten times. I can smell you, human. Kitsune, is that you? The bright chime of your little bell cannot be mistaken. Your smell gives you away, human. Um, I... <laughs> you really thought you could deceive this old blind fox? Oh, well, I... A human? <laughs> Deceiving a fox? <laughs> no, this is precious. Actually, I'm trying to return this bell to the fox. Ah, <laughs> returning her lost property. What a noble gesture. You may pass, but be careful, human. Never trust a fox, especially not one like her. <laughs> Ah, I find it surprising that you should be kind enough to bid me farewell. 
Thank you, my beloved. It was bound to end sooner or later. Yes, it is the end of warbling birds and greedy pasture. Instead, it is the beginning of murky waters and empty notebooks. I have to go. I know. Hmm, not a trace of the fox. Maybe that lady can tell me where it went. Hey, the fox is right here, but where did the lady go? Ha, at last, gotcha. Whoa! Oh boy, stop following me around, Jerry. Don't you know what it means when someone is running away from you? I... I am so sorry. Um, do you want me to leave? No, please. I don't want to be alone. What happened? I wish I could tell you, but you would hate me. And there is already more than one human who hates me. You should never use the word hate. It will ruin your teeth. That's what my mum always... Um, I mean, I once read that in a magazine. Well... How would you feel if someone had broken your heart? Wouldn't you hate them? I don't know. My heart's never been broken yet. If you stay with me long enough, I'll break it for you if you want me to. I think I once saw someone's heart being broken. Didn't look very amusing. No. Humans are so fragile. Not in the least like foxes. We try to make you happy, but it never works out. Hmm. This statue once said I should never trust a fox. But he's a fox as well. At least, that's what he was before. A few hundred years ago, he sold his nine tails to a demon. So why should you trust him? Hmm. So, you, um, know my name? <laughs> oh, I've been watching you for a while. Over in the other world where we met. Really? I'm sorry. I should have introduced myself. I'm Kitsuna. My name is Jeremiah Hazelnut, but my friends call me Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> oh. I think you lost something. Oh, please keep it. I would like it if you took it with you, so you'll remember me. Okay. Where did we meet? <laughs> I've been watching you for a while, over in the other world where we met. I'm Kitsuna. This is probably a silly question, but what are you, fox or human? I'm a fox, but I can change how you perceive me any way I want to. Really? That's the coolest magic trick I've ever heard of. You think so? It's not difficult. Just give it a try. Anyone can do it if they know how it's done. Even me? I'm going to be a great magician, you know. <laughs> oh. So, you can teach me how to do it? No, I promised on my parents' honour that I wouldn't teach it to anyone. The foxes here only use it to make people unhappy, but not me. I want them to be happy, but it never works out that way. For your information, happy is my favourite word in the whole dictionary. I'm sorry, Jerry, I really can't do it. Unless, do you really want to make people happy? When you succeed in making a sad person happy, then, I might believe you. I... I once told my cousin a really funny joke. He laughed so hard that milk came out of his nose. <laughs> no! Laughter is not enough. Have you ever made someone so happy that it inspired them to do something truly outstanding? No, not really. Then come back when you have. I know you can do it. Quiet pond. No, that doesn't cut it. Gloomy pond. Ah! Excuse me, are you a poet? Am I a poet? A poet needs inspiration. And she no longer wishes to be mine. Instead, she just broke my heart. My name will fade into oblivion. Just like my words and the ink on my paper. <laughs> Are you looking for a new inspiration or something? I need inspiration. But my spirit remains empty and unmoving. 
just like this pond. Nothing is stirring. And the same is true for my imagination. What about the rock over there? Isn't it, um, exciting? Your words are just as empty as mine. Don't tell me I didn't try. Is that a frog I hear? A frog? Hmm. Aha! No. My inspiration is dwindling again. The green frog takes heart and leaps. Sound of the water. Oh, it's perfect. I show you, old fool, you've still got it. <laughs> I saw what you did for the poet. His poems are truly beautiful, but they arise from his pain. In darkest night that's black and cold, that's where the stars shine brightest. Did you know that, Jerry? That is why I had to break his heart. It always happens that way. But you know what it takes to make others happy. And now I'm going to help you. Look closely, Jerry. I understand, but how can I do it? All right. Come on, let's go back to Mousewood. Believe me, this world isn't for you. The other foxes here aren't as nice as me. Also, I want to find out whether someone tried to eat Uli's special treats, and whether Plato finally worked up the courage to speak to Anya. <laughs> wow! How do you know all these things? You'd be surprised about how much you notice when you change into a statue. <laughs> so it was you watching me. I knew there was something strange about those statues. Yep. <laughs> Where we are? Who? Who are you? Ah. What did you see? Do you understand it yet? I. No. I wrote a story for you. It might help you understand. Do not be afraid, but be on guard. You want me to read that story? What does all this mean? That's what I'm trying to find out, Jerry. The Marquis! Where are you? Still in the Magician's house. You learned the Fox's spell? You did very well. Foxes are a bit, a bit of a tricky bunch, but they're also quite fascinating. Don't you think so? Yes, but what do I do next? There is a cold tree in the northwest. To find it, you must seek out the treetops. Travelers who are able to walk between worlds are said to have settled there. The tree will lead you to the eternal ice, and that is where you will find your next spell. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I'd really like to go home for a bit. And soon, may I? Hello? Seems like you can't hear me. 